Sean, great to be back at Wilson Tools today here uh, in Essex. Um, subject today is this Schmeck machine that you've just purchased from Dugards. Uh, firstly, tell us what we're actually going to see as, a, a, as kind of a cutting test on here, something that's really impressed you. Well, on a machine which has only got an eight inch chuck, I'm going to put a beef cut into me in 24, four and a half mil side cut, standard tooling. And that's, that's quite, a, quite a, a tricky material, uh, quite a ha harder material than you might cut normally for your uh, contracting work here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there are far superior materials out there, but in terms of actually a piece of material, it's quite challenging um, and the machine is just absolutely eating it alive. Uh, you've done this before on a previous machine and, and what you were saying is you, you couldn't believe how, how sturdy this was and how it just, just cut, and, you know, there's no vibration on the machine. Even the tool wear, you were saying the tool wear, you can't believe how long the tools are lasting. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure whether it's the VDI replacement into base mount. The machine itself is just so solid, it's doing wonders. And when you look at the build of this machine, the kind of box guideway construction, do you think that the reason you're seeing better tool wear is because all, any vibrations being dampened out in the base of the machine, which means you're getting less feedback to the, to the edge of the cutting tool, which means it's, it's lasting longer? It must be, because before, similar machine, one mil side cut. This is taking four and a half mil aside. I'm expecting the insert to last two components. We've, gone, we've done 35. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. Uh, tell us about the journey of buying this machine, though, and why you selected the, the, the Schmeck. It ultimately came down again to the Siemens control. We ended up with a couple of options, real serious options on the table. This machine came in at the last minute after watching, um, I'd seen previews on MTD CNC, and we just looked at the machine, spoke to Colin, put a deal together over the phone. It arrived a week later, and it's just been superb. Now, now you've, got, you've gone for just a straight turning machine now, haven't you? There's, there's, there's no milling aspect to this. Is that, is that kind of what you do here at Wilson Tools? Is it because you don't have the volume of, of throughput, maybe? It all comes down to setup time, probably. We looked at milling, we really looked at a, a Y-axis lathe. The C-axis, I decided, wasn't for us. It comes down to setup time. When we've got ones off, twos off, threes off, fours off, am I really going to get that time back setting up um, positions on the turret? You're losing space. It all comes to down to thinking: Is it actually going to be more beneficial, or should I just second up it on a mill? Uh, how quickly did you get this machine in from when you placed the order on it? About ten days. Okay, but did it come from Dugard in, in Brighton, or did they have to bring it in from uh, from overseas? They got this one in from Germany. They had um, a Fanuc option sitting there ready to go. Uh, we just decided that Fanuc wasn't for us. The Siemens was in Germany. It was a slightly bigger spec machine than the, than the FANUC option, we said yes straight away. And how did all that go? How did the installation go within that 10 day period? Getting it here in 10 days over from Germany, making sure it got all the, correction, uh, the correct options fitted to it and all of that, that would go smoothly? It went so smooth, it was untrue. We, there was a hold up in port. Colin was ringing the port up every day trying to get it sorted and the machine was here because we had a deadline on the job. He got, uh, we got the job set up, flew out and we're just so pleased. Uh, I want to learn more about this control here. Uh, it's one of the first things that caught my eye. Touch screen Siemens 828D uh, control. How good is it? It's, yeah, again, it's just taking things on to the next level. We love Siemens here. All of a sudden, it's got a few extra options what we haven't got before. It's it's just lovely to guide your way around. It's so self-explanatory. Yeah. Do you use the shop turn on it and, and all the simulations to to sort of preview what you're going to be turning? We program everything here on the control. So shop turn. There's no cam system in place for the lathe. It's so easy, we just use it all the time. Uh, people always talk about touchscreen. How much difference does it really make? Is it, is, it, is it just gimmicky or is it actually an advantage? I would say somewhere in between. You know, we, for me personally, it's not the be all and end all, but a couple of guys love it. They love sort of the way that and just, it is quicker. The way once you start using it as a touchscreen, you know, it, it's, it's a far superior option. And, and what options did you spec with the machine, Darren? Did it come with, with the chuck that you see? Did it come with a tooling, suite of tooling? We, the deal we put together was with a tooling package. The chuck has got a 65 mil bore. Um, we need a chuck, we need a chucking machine. We needed a tail stop. That machine was sitting there and was fast, better specs up than what we'd ever had before. And because you'd never had a Schmeck before, were you nervous that it was going to come in and it was not going to do everything that you wanted it to do? There's always that sense of is it the, the right decision? A new investment is, you know, it's a lot of money to fork out. 
as soon as the machine landed, I looked at it and I thought, you know what, this is, this is built really well. And I couldn't wait to get that EN24 job on there to just to prove it out. And oh, it, was, it was so good. So you're pleased that you did make the right decision then? We did make the right decision.